Welcome to Laravel Inertia JS with View Designer. I am Ahmed Kaja from Point Grow. So in this video, we're going to test ride a sample Git repo suggested by one of our user, Mark Ford. Thank you, Mark. And this is by an author by name Nicola. Thank you, Nicola. Um, so let's clone this and then um, design, uh, try designing the view components in this folder. So before starting, I just want to call out the fact that view designer is agnostic of framework. So you can work on, visually work on your view components in any V powered projects. So we do have instructions for common uh, popular frameworks like Nuts, Isles and Astro. And if you open your own project, um, there's a config panel that pops out giving instructions on how to install the development only Vite plugin or Meta Framework specific module. But sometimes we might need some additional setup. That's what this video is about. So let, let me go to my editor and let's navigate CD into where we want to create this project. I am running PHP version 8.2.11 and Composer version 2.6.4 and Node version 18.12.1. So make sure that these are installed. And on top of that, I do have MySQL installed and it's already up and running at my end. So let's go to our repo and I'm going to copy the git clone command and come back here, git clone and paste that. So that clones a fresh project and let's cd into that newly created project. And then um, I'm going to open this in VS Code. You can drag and drop this folder from your file explorer into this uh, into VS Code. Open the terminal and then let's go uh, follow the instructions in the git repo. So um, first thing we want to do is npm uh, composer install and npm install. So this is my first day in uh, Laravel. So uh, I have absolutely no idea what composer install does, but let's figure that out. So it's installing some dependencies like I mean, npm install. So npm install install in, installs all the package JSON dependencies and dev dependencies in node modules folder. Uh, so now that that's done, um, the next thing is set up environment variables. Now there's a dot env dot example file in the root folder. Let's clone it, copy paste, and then I'm going to rename it to just dot env file. So this um, apparently contains the DB uh, settings. So um, I'm going to call my database just Laravel and then underscore inertia underscore view underscore spa, which is the name of the repo. And the username is root and my password is password. So I'm going to save these now. And then the next step is generate an application key, PHP artisan key generate. So let's run PHP artisan key colon generate. And that um, generated some key. The next is PHP artisan migrate php artisan migrate so a database um, that doesn't exist so do you want to create it yes i want to and that seems to uh, throw some error now um, mark did suggest me uh, to actually make a small amend to one of the files to uh, you know uh, mitigate this error so under the in the root folder there's a database folder and and there's a migrations folder subfolder under it and there's a file called uh, something that ends with create users table and mark suggested me to look for the description field and make this nullable i've never used php so i'm not i have no idea what this does but i'm going to save that and then now let's try again in PHP artisan migrate. And that seems to create the database and tables, it seems, and that looks okay. So the next thing we want to do is uh, start the application and also start the dev server. Now, uh, I believe this repo is missing a step, which is called PHP artisan serve, uh, which uh, you know uh, opens the application, the server maybe, PHP server. So we can, um, you know, um, chain those two commands because we need to run both of them in parallel by using one of the npm package called npm, I want to install it, npm install 
uh, hyphen D and it's called npm run all. And that is getting installed. So now that that is installed uh, under the script uh, script section, what we can do now is add a command called sir that says php artisan sir comma and then wheat the default command I'm going to call it wheat and create a new command above it called dev and chain these two. So the way to do it is npm run all and then say hyphen hyphen parallel and call these two commands here. So it has to be serve and the next command is wheat. So essentially it's going to run serve and wheat command uh, in parallel which I believe um, starts the PHP server and also the wheat dev server. So now let's run npm run dev and it's running both of them in parallel now. So um, the server is running at 8,000 8, and then uh, wheat server is running it in uh, 5174 as usual. Now let's open the application and it's a very simple a couple of cards and there's a login uh, login uh, uh, link and then there's a register link. And now let's go back to view designer and open a newly created project in view designer. So navigate to where project was created and uh, select the project. So view, view designer uh, recognized that there's a beat power project using view. So uh, the config panel gives the instructions. So let's copy and install the dev only week plugin. So I'm going to stop this console, the process that was running and then clear and then paste that to install Pingo week plugin. Our week plugin is installed. So the next step is to configure it in the week config file. Copy this, this line and then open wheat config file, paste that import. So we are importing the live designer and then copy and include that plugin under the plugins array of wheat. So now that we have installed and configured, uh, it's not red anymore. Um, optionally, you can, we can install these, you know, add these um, aliases, but I'm going to skip it for now. And then we can install these um, git ignore, which is a good thing. Just paste that in the dot git ignore folder or file. And then um, some suggestions about allowing JSN turning to strict mode off in TS config file. Um, so we don't have a TS config file. I'm going to skip that for now. So we are all good. So if we have done it right, uh, it should work just fine. So npm run dev. So we are able to connect, but the key thing to notice here is this is connected to the wheat, uh, wheat server, dev server. But our application is not running in port 5174, rather it's running in port 8000. So this is the additional uh, configuration needed. So let's go to our editor and then in vconfig uh, file, under live designer, we can pass a parameter called dev servers URL. So TypeScript is uh, giving that, um, you know, uh, the types, and then it's called dev servers URL, dev server URLs, and that can take a object, and it can take a local uh, a URL. So we are running a server in uh, port 8000. So I'm going to copy this and paste that in here. So what we're doing is we're saying view designer that our application is running in this um, URL and this is where uh, you know uh, we have to serve the application. The reason being Vite is used as some middleware uh, in this whole process. Uh, so until we have a, a, you know some instructions around automatically um, you know uh, um, figuring this out in view designer, this is a temporary step at the moment. So uh, it's generally not a good uh, practice to uh, you know uh, pass this URL in here because if 8000 was already running, uh, sometimes 
the 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 CLI might actually pick the next uh, port number, but for now we're good. So let's now go back to View Designer and check here. So our application now it's um, you know uh, we've got the correct URL now. Now let's try opening our startup page. So you can see that uh, it has opened API Token Manager, and we are getting a, a small alert. Uh, let's go back to editor and then I'll tell you what it is. The startup page is generally, uh, you know, um, a, a page, uh, you know, a, a view file in the pages folder, like an index file or an app.view file. Now, we don't have any, any of those folders in the root folder here because it's a different project, uh, Laravel uh, uh, project. So there's a folder called resources and under JS is where our components, uh, layouts, and pages uh, exist. So what View Designer has done is it is looking for our pages, and it has just picked the first uh, view file in in that particular folder. Um, so that said, um, you know our startup um, uh, file is the easiest way to navigate to the startup file page is to just use the app tree because that will show what is the components um, it'll actually show the tree of the components of the current page so it's the welcome.view so let's click on welcome.view and i am getting an error uh, something about uh, apply something code gen uh, node let's go back to editor so i'm going to save this file here at view designers end and i'm going to fix this error um, because it is from a repo that that we don't we didn't create. So under JS, there is a file called Welcome Resources JS Pages um, Pages, and there's a Welcome file. And in here, there's some um, you know uh, gymnastics going on here. It's to do with using some VLs, VF VLs. Uh, so looks like um, that particular link, uh, you know, uh, with regards to showing the login register. It has some uh, VFVLs. So what I'm gonna do is just to fix this up, I am going to enclose these in divs. So there's a link on the top and I'm gonna enclose that in a div and then use that VF on that div. In a similar way, um, and the, the, the word dashboard, it seems to be outside. So I'm gonna move it inside the link uh, component and I'm gonna enclose the one below that also in a div. Again, you might not have to do this. I'm just uh, doing this impromptu and you call this, uh, move this VLs into the div again and then we don't need this template tag anymore. And the link again, uh, this login should be part of the link a component and this register has to again be part of that in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually call this uh, link instead of using the link I'm going to you just use an anchor tag cool let's come back here so we've got a login and register so uh, that seems okay now let's come back to view designer and that seems to fix that issue let me unzoom a little bit. So there you go. We are able to, uh, we've got source DOM mapping between the welcome component and what's shown here. Uh, so we can now visually design the welcome.view file. Uh, so if I do command D, uh, it will, uh, what do you call it? Duplicate that uh, element, uh, delete, will delete it. And beat is doing the HMR, uh, you know, lightning fast HMR, just really fine. So the state of the welcome.view is shown here. Uh, it shows, you know, that can login is true, can register is true. So uh, we can go now into click mode so that we can interact with the page. And now let's try registering ourselves. I'm Kaja, and then we'll say view designer at pinegrow.com. I'm going to say password test, 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 and try registering myself. And it seems to have logged me in. Uh, so um, we are interacting with the PHP server. So there's a backend, uh, which is completely new to me. I'm more of a front-end guy. But now we can actually now select this tag, which is a welcome.view. 
and then um, again double click on this to drill down into that component and now we can uh, you know um, design the tags within this because it's the same same component uh, but now this is actually so now we can see that in the app tree it's showing the whole tree so there's a dashboard dot view at the root and this app layout banner so that there's a whole heap of components once we log in and of the we are in welcome dot view and uh, yeah now we can you know just uh, live design this uh, visually in in uh, view designer now and it's the same process you know we can navigate to any any of our components so let's say we, get, we navigate to this um uh, this drop down dot view which is uh, you know uh, the drop down that's shown here and then now we can go into click mode instead of that we can alt click as well which is the same and that will open that menu and that should uh, show additional components that are loading because the app tree is dynamic it, it represents what's shown in the page and we can go into that particular component to you know change things and work with that so um, that's no different to how we kind of work so let me go back to uh, welcome.view. So what we've done now is uh, we have uh, cloned uh, a sample repo from GitHub and then uh, we did, um, you know, um, did a s small additional configuration with regards to uh, setting the dev server URL to the app server URL instead of the Veed server URL because that's where uh, the application is running and because Veed is used as a middleware here. So this is a Laravel Inertia project and I'm completely new to Laravel and Inertia. I've never used it. This is my first day. So quite interesting that, you know, we, are, we were able to quickly uh, have this up and running. Um, I have no idea how to actually code any of the other stuff except for the view part, uh, which we can, you know, because view is a view is a view. Um, thank you very much. I'll push this repo to GitHub so that you can clone and, uh, you know, open in uh, clone and uh, open it in view, view designer and then uh, check out these uh, different, uh, you know, uh, visual uh, designing capability of designing a view components in any Veep project. And you also learned that there's this config uh, prop called um, dev server URL where we can you know uh, do some additional configuration uh, which is generally not needed because it's not a good practice but for now it's it's okay for now thank you very much take view designer first spin at viewdesigner.com uh, we've got a fully functional free trial available join our discord group join our community and I'll see you in the next one bye bye